Yo, what's going on guys, Vex are back, and today we got a brand new video on Bitcoin because it just had a massive move up. It is absolutely exploded in price in the in just one day yesterday. We see it kind of challenging all-time highs, getting back to those levels. And we can see it right here on the charts. You just see we had this original all-time high was this yellow line. It's around it's six, seven thousand nineteen on uh weeble i think on a lot of things it's like under sixty-seven thousand, just under it but for here it's a little bit over but we'll just call it 67k right now we're at sixty-six thousand three hundred, almost 400 so flirting with all time highs right now everything looking great for bitcoin and if you compare this move where you see this this like right here this peak coming down and then coming back up if you compare that move just to the hash rate itself we can see it went down came back up if the hash rate is going to tell us anything we continue moving up uh in price from here and not to say anything but just a couple days ago i did do a video talking about the hash rate where it was a uh, a factor into the price and saying we could see price levels and i think i even might have called out 66k i know i said at least 65 if it is a leading indicator which it has worked out to be uh in the past a lot of times especially this year then we should see Bitcoin kind of at least uh, tick up a little bit, maybe 64, 65,000. But we still can wonder if it's going to, you know, reach all-time highs before the hash rate reaches all-time highs, which it probably will at this point. So the chart price for Bitcoin still looking good. You know, this would just flip uh, sediment in the market as well and on like social media and everything from Bitcoin topped out and it's coming back down uh, to where we kind of see it coming back out and the sediment changes just like that. but. Basically, this last uh, week or couple weeks, we saw accumulation, which is pretty easy to kind of see on a chart when, when you, I mean, especially when you look back in hindsight, but when you come down and this level, like 59, 60K was held, I mean, we saw it fall b uh, below for two days here, but then come back. But when it basically holds around a certain level, we're seeing a lot of accumulation. We can see that with the on-chain stuff with whales still accumulating Bitcoin. So when you see all of that and combine it, then you don't have to be so worried about a collapse in price because there's so much accumulation going on. And we see the uh, outskirts of that happening right now. And what this could be, like I said before, the spring we need in Bitcoin to be able to propel it to the plan B levels of 98K for the floor of this month. So uh, that would mean we probably run to like 105K, come back down if we go off like this floor model and then next month have to get to 135k for that model so this like accumulation stuff has to happen to get enough momentum to be able to push the price up far enough to hit these uh numbers but in a couple of uh, little stories here too for bitcoin we have zimbabwe is uh consulting private sector on legalizing bitcoin so just another country coming into the network and we have blockfi filed with the sec to launch a spot bitcoin etf this is what we need we don't need these futures etfs with all of this lingo and complexity we just need the spot bitcoin etf to just allow people easily to do it for whatever reason if individuals don't believe in bitcoin or it's fugues and it's just pretend money and it's internet money and they can't touch it and they can go buy an etf on their favorite brokerage where they still can't touch the shares but for some reason makes more sense in their head this is a bigger move because we can see right here this is the amount of companies that have filed for a spot back bitcoin etf or bitcoin etf in general so i mean this is just absolutely massive uh so obviously we see a lot of them you can see most of them bitcoin three are ethereum so bitcoin still obviously the main one and if the sec is going to prove anything i think it's be bitcoin before ethereum and way before altcoins or baskets or stuff i think they wouldn't even mess with that but uh it's there's so much demand on the institutional side or company side of getting this out because they know there's so much demand on the other side for money to flow in they want to be uh first they want to be able to take the market by storm and get out first or get out early enough where a lot of the money comes to them and their fund obviously that's what everyone wants to do but just seeing all of these companies all of the demand that's there on both sides it just shouldn't be surprising to anybody uh that this has to happen 
sometime soon. The 14th, which is right here, next big day is 11, 14, 21. For the Vanek Spot Bitcoin ETF, it'll either be approved or denied. They see no more delays. And it'll probably be denied, but if it gets approved, that'll be insane. Uh, like this says right here, fully expect denial based on recent comments from SEC and Gensler. We'd be shocked if Vanek Filings is approved, despite believing it should be approved, and it really should be. I mean, there's no reason not for it to be. The denial letter should give us insight into SEC's current views and opinions on underlying Bitcoin market. So it'll probably get denied. Everyone's expecting it to get denied. If it gets approved, I think there would be massive frenzy and FOMO into Bitcoin and stuff, uh, but it'll probably get denied. And it should be approved because the futures ones are approved on the market. So a spot back one makes so much more sense and wouldn't have any complicated ways about how futures work. It would just be Bitcoin. So it's really simple to understand. And just looking at some history for Bitcoin, uh, people comparing charts uh, from 2013, 2017, and now. So this is 2013. Obviously, you see you are here is circled. And then everyone has an explosion up in price. And people have compared this much more to 2013 than 2017. So the same explosion up in price would put it to, it would hit a top of like $340,000, $350,000, and then come back down to what, 180K or something like that. So uh, it actually marks the same level 2.272. I don't know what that number is, but that. It's the same mark, but so put it around 200k. But I do severely think that we are in a super cycle or the last cycle, however you want to call it. Doesn't mean Bitcoin's going to run to a million dollars this year or next year, but we're at enough adoption where countries are adopting it, companies are adopting it, and people across the globe are adopting it. So it's no longer this small, like niche type of idea, it's more mainstream and actually doing things every day. So I think that we aren't going to be able to look to the past anymore in these four-year cycles based off the having and mining, selling pressure, and simple types of things. There's way more stuff going on, way more people involved, and way, much more money involved now than there was before. So uh, I think we continue a slower grind up to higher prices and stuff instead of seeing a bear market for two to three years or whatever it would be. Because as it stands right now, you can see these charts, it's run up into a collapse, really. I mean, that's 50% drawdown. And then run up into another 50 over 50% drawdown. I don't think we're going to see stuff like this. I don't think we're going to see it just explode off at the end of this month to like 350000 or 200000 I think we get much more of that slow grind. But that doesn't mean there's not going to be dips or corrections. We saw that earlier this year, it did fall 50%, went flat for a couple months, and then came right back up. So instead of, you know, we have like a condensed bear market here uh, because there's so much demand there. So you do get these smaller dips and stuff where you can basically get what the bear market would be, but in a very short period of time. So I think that's going to be a lot more doable. And we'll probably see like 30% falls or 20% or something. Uh, when people take profit and doing whatever they got to do. And then just to finish this video off, you know we got to look at the longs. We are actually 1.3% away from all-time highs and making a new all-time high. Uh, last time we did that, we had a pretty good run of a few thousand dollars. So if this re-hit that, I think 70K is easy to go through. And then maybe we try and get up to like 72, 73,000. But you see longs still exploding. Shorts actually going up as well. So. If we see the price continue to go up and break all time highs, get a little bit more bullish with sentiment and everything. Maybe we see short squeezes before these long squeezes that we've been seeing for the last three to four weeks at this point. But that's the big news for Bitcoin. They have a ton of demand for the ETFs, spot ETFs too. That's what we really want to see. And countries, Zimbabwe, putting its hat in the ring and trying to start legalizing Bitcoin and get that going. As we know, everyone in Zimbabwe is a trillionaire. So uh, it's doesn't really mean much there. So Bitcoin looks good on the chart, approaching all-time highs, fundamentally still getting adopted, still growing, and the hash rate, if it does what we've seen it do, would say that we continue moving up in price. So we'll see how that all plays out. And as always, guys, if you smash that like button and subscribe, run the road to 1,000 subscribers. See you guys in my next video.